You know, it really speaks towards one's ego when you have to include God in your name. Like, are you the self-proclaimed God of the gays? I'm sure several other gay people would disagree with that title. Here we have a very educational video from Matthew, aka Gay God, in where he asks the important question of do vegans actually taste better? Before anyone says anything, no, he isn't going to be feasting on the flesh of vegans for views. But just keep in mind, this video is, uh, just going to get a little gross. But this video is clearly for scientific research because we need to get to the bottom of this. Do vegans actually taste better? And I have actually been vegan for 12 years, like over 12 years, so who better to test this theory than me on myself? And I haven't really tasted myself in quite a while, so I might have went ahead and shot a little bit of myself into this shot glass and I kind of want to be open and honest with you guys and tell you what I actually taste like. I know this is TMI and all, but you know what? You only live once, so bottom up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yeah, he's got a shot glass full of his own goo that he's going to drink. Whether or not it's real, I guess, could be up for debate. He could very well be trolling, but I don't think he is, given his mannerisms and behavior in this, so I'll take him at his word that this is legitimate. All for the sake of, quote, scientific research, which is very questionable because it seems more out of pleasure than business, considering this is not the first time doing this, as you make us well aware of. If that's something you want to do on your own spare time, uh, feel free, I ain't stopping you, but maybe it's one of those things you can just kind of keep to yourself and not have to share with everyone. <sighs> okay, so obviously, like, I've been with a whole bunch of different guys. Not a whole bunch. Well, making myself sound a little slutty. But I feel like meat eaters, they're so salty, which is weird because I, um... I eat a lot of salt, but all my exes are like, yeah, you're really sweet tasting. And I'm like, how is that even possible? Like, I eat like 10 times as much salt as you. But I guess it has to do with like red meat consumption and all that stuff. So they are always absolutely disgusting tasting. They taste like, I don't know, bleach or like, you know, like public swimming pools that like smell like way too much like chlorine and you're just like, Ew, gross. That's kind of what they smell like. You're just like, okay, go jump in the shower, go clean up. Like, ew. Can I point out that he kind of looks like Drake Bell's gay doppelganger? I know I can't be the only one that sees that. So not that I have a problem with him being gay, of course. That obviously isn't my issue here. I'm not being like, and the grossest part about this whole thing is that he's gay. <laughs> I'm not being that much of a dick. I mean, yeah, it can be annoying that you focus on being gay and make that your one trait that's noteworthy for everyone to be aware of constantly, but whatever, you do you. Really, you just doing this in general is kind of gross. If anyone else was doing this, man or woman, straight, gay, or bi, it would still be gag-worthy. So, um, basically, <laughs> let's see what I smell like. Ooh, I smell. <clears throat> okay. Okay, see, like, okay. So vegans are not as like potent smelling, like it kind of, it reminds me of like Sunny D, like, like warm Sunny D. Like if I were to be drinking Sunny D at a public pool, like it does kind of have that like chlorine kind of smell a little bit, but there's definitely some citrus going on here, like a lot of... Yeah, like a weird, it's like a weird citrus, like it's been like out in the sun a little bit too long, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Not like rotten, but like, just zesty. And I feel like it's not real citrus, it's like Sunny D citrus. <laughs> this is making me so nervous. Yeah, like, do you know how hard it was to get it into this little cup? Like, I was like, ah, I didn't get anything in there, so I'm like scooping it and pouring it in. Okay, so not that I'm easily queasy, we've heard and seen worse, but just imagining that visual is a little much. Why didn't you just clean it up, try again, use a bigger cup, then transport said sperm into a smaller cup instead of scooping it back with all sorts of bacteria and gunk attached to it? You may have noticed this conversation gets progressively worse and worse the more we talk about it. This is the gross episode, folks. This is the episode where we vomit in our mouths slightly. Okay, so let me try my first reaction to this. No! No! God, please, no! 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 Oh. No! Oh, that was quite nice. 
Ooh, it's so smooth. Whoa. 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 It reminds me of like, oh my god, it's so sweet. It's like, I'm, I'm just like, like, whoa. I'm like, why haven't I been dating vegans this whole time? It, ha it has this weird flavor. Like, it almost reminds me of like, if you were to take like a vanilla chapstick and like melt it down in the microwave, like, so where it's like still thicker, but like, not really? <laughs> I don't know, let me try it. Oh, that's nasty. It's weird how excited you got when doing that. Like, it's so good that you're now going to do this more often and recommend it to others. It's really the fact that you're willingly ingesting your own bodily fluid that makes this sickening. If you were doing this with a cup of your own blood, sweat, pus, piss, shit, or vomit, it'd still be gnarly. It would also be one thing if this was for a joker to be funny in some way, being gross can work with comedy, but here it's not even used for that, so it just comes across as disgusting. Compared to, like, Jackass or something, yeah, you have guys drinking animal sperm and people sweat for entertainment, but I think there is somewhat of a difference there. They know what they're doing is gross, and that it's for the purposes of a joke to be funny to try and shock you, so then you can laugh at their expense. But here you're brushing it off as so casual and normal, which I guess is a little funny, but more weird if anything. All you're doing is comparing it to other things that are also kind of gross in description, so thanks for that. No, it just- <laughs> that, that tastes the same as the first time. That was actually amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yes. Wow. That was ex exquisite. <laughs> I'm using big complicated words. I'm like... It's very... Yeah, it's very sweet. It's very sugary tasting. Which is really odd to me. I feel like it should taste more like vegetables or... It could be because I drink a lot of, like, fruit juices and I have a lot of smoothies and stuff, but... Like, even the aftertaste is really not that bad, like... And it's so... It's, like, silky. Like, it reminds... You know how, like, the chapstick would, like, kind of, like, make your lips soft, but not, like, super soft? Like, I feel like my lips are softer from that. Is that weird to say? Uh, yeah, just a bit, I would say. It's coming across as sort of narcissistic how much you're over-exaggerating and hyping yourself in this manner. You act like this is some sort of wine tasting, which you could have set up an actual bit with that, but you're being legitimate here, and we all know that stuff's bullshit anyway. Really, this is me making fun of you because it does deserve mockery on some level. As if there wasn't enough material you could use to make fun of vegans with. I can't quite put the flavor, but, like, it definitely smells way worse than it tastes. Like, the smell is not necessarily like, mmm, I want to swallow that, but like... It's really not that bad. <laughs> I'm like, all my future boyfriends are gonna be, I mean, there's only gonna be one future boyfriend because my next boyfriend is the one and only man for me, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, <laughs> But, um, yeah, like, if they taste like this, like, Honestly, like, I would start sucking some D if this is what they taste like. I'd be like, yo, let me swallow some of that because that's some good shit. Like, this is all natural, organic, like... <laughs> if my ads get removed for this, I'm gonna be very upset because this is clearly scientific research and I'm clearly trying to prove a point that vegans do taste better. Well, honestly, not going to lie, I'd be a little salty if ads were still on this video. There aren't now, I believe. Not that I'm usually for that, but I mean, dude, people get demonetized for just dropping F-bombs. What makes you think this would fly? Oh yeah, social commentators that talk about controversy and curse on occasion. No, no, we don't want our advertisers attached to that, but guy drinking his own sperm on camera? Clearly ad-friendly. It's just stupid is really what it comes down to. Inconsequential, but unnecessary. You know what would make this more scientific, albeit slightly more gross for you as if you did a taste test between vegan versus non-vegan and then did comparisons even with other people. At that point though, that video is probably better suited for Pornhub than YouTube. I don't want to sound like the stick in the mud who's waving his fist around like a bitter old man or anything, but when YouTube is the one pushing this big family-friendly narrative hardcore here, it just shows once again how little they actually give a shit. I get it, who cares though? It's gross, sure, but other people have done sick things on here in hopes of entertainment. I'm not saying to tear down the 
the channel or the video for simply being gross, but no one's liking this for good reason. I just proved my own point by by drinking this. I feel like I should like finish it off and just and just savor the moment. Oh, actually, it starts to taste. I mean, it starts to smell better as you go on. Maybe like the top layer, like maybe because I started filming and like it started to like separate a little bit, like. It wasn't as good. I'm so glad this is what we're counting as quality content when a stereotype goes and critiques his own juices in clear desperation for attention. Then you have an asshole who goes and responds to it as if it's really worth his time, subjecting others to the tortures of this. I get it, you want views. I'm not necessarily condemning someone for wanting views on their videos because yes, people want others watching their stuff. That's why we upload. But this just might be going a bit too far. Wouldn't you say just, just a little? Ooh. It's like coconut or something. Like the, the meal of the coconut, not like fresh coconut milk or like coconut milk like you buy from the store, like the gallons of coconut milk, but like it's got that weird fresh coconutty flavor. <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say in this. Like I'm like actually like taken back. <laughs> I'm like, why doesn't anyone want to be my boyfriend? Like, <laughs> if this is what they get, like, <laughs> this is fucking delicious. I love this. <laughs> I'm getting really hot because I'm just like, I can't believe I just did this on YouTube. Hey, whatever makes you happy, man. I'm not trying to morally condemn you, but you think you'd understand that something like this would be more embarrassing to have out there, if anything. Yeah, why aren't they just flocking out the door to get with you? Again, it's disturbing how much you're enjoying this right now. I can't believe I'm about to say this. This was hands down the best. <laughs> this was hands... <laughs> Keep it together, Matt. This was hands down the best sperm I have ever tasted, which is kind of sad because it is my own. But 10 out of 10, if you ever get to try me, you are gonna love it. You are gonna love it. And I'm gonna say goodbye now. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next Sunday. Don't forget to like and share this video. Well, technically, I guess I helped share this stupid video for all of you to witness for yourselves. No need to thank me for making you watch this. What a great video that was. How educational and scientific that was. Did you guys learn anything today? I learned not to watch any more videos by this guy anytime soon. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, question mark. Please don't hate me for subjecting you to this, but I'll understand if you do. Thanks to those who stuck it out for this long and to those who bounced, I can't exactly blame ya. In any case, I'm going to rinse my brain out thoroughly of this nonsense. Let me know what you guys thought down below. As usual, I'll see you guys later in the next video, hopefully with a lot less jizz sampling. <laughs>